everybody, Asia here. So it's just recently occurred to me that schools in the US and other countries too, hi if you're watching, are going to be starting up again for a whole nother year. How have I not been aware of this? Oh, that's right, I go to college. And it starts in late October, so ha 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 ha. It sucks to be you, it sucks to be you. Well, it suck a 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 suck to be you. There's my musical break in this video. A bunch of my friends who are still in that weird high school level have been trying to soak up as much of this summer as they possibly can before they go to school in a few days. They've been calling me like, Asia, let's go to the movies. Asia, let's go shopping. Asia, let's go eat lunch. Let's Asia, let's go get coffee. Asia, let's go to the beach. And I'm like, I have no money. I am a broke college student with no summer job and I don't look good in a bathing suit so no beach so in honor of those dear friends of mine who are going back to school this august i've decided to make a series called oh god school is starting again and oh uh, god school is starting again august no Okay. And this is where I recount the many embarrassing things that happened while I was in school and also some of the things that really ticked me off while I was attending, you know, the DOE school thing. Today's one is called I hate dodgeball. Okay, first off, don't judge me. I am not one who hates physical activity. In fact, I participate in recreational sports and physical activity once every three years? Second of all, I don't really hate dodgeball, okay? This video revolves around what happens around dodgeball, if that makes sense. I really enjoyed dodgeball. It was one of my favorite games back in elementary and middle school. I mean, come on, it dealt with running and dodging and faking other people and, oh my gosh, that big red rubber ball that you just had in your hands, okay? As a kid, you're always told to generally not throw things at people, but when you're given this big rubber ball, and you're put in this game where you're allowed to hit people with this ball. Good lord, as a kid, I would relish that feeling of throwing that rubber ball and hearing the smack of it when it crosses somebody's face. So yeah, basically, I like dodgeball. What's the whole point of me saying I hate dodgeball when I really don't hate dodgeball? Well, I was one of those unfortunate children who had to stay back in school at the after school program. Or in my elementary school, A plus program. I have no idea why it's called A+, plus, and wait till my mom to pick me up later that afternoon. A, because she got off at work really late, and B, I lived out in the boonies and there was barely anybody that lived near me. And C, she didn't trust me to stay home alone because I would have set this place on fire. Anyway, it was really fun. Like, we got snacks, we had like a 20 minute homework break, and then we got like recess, all, all afternoon recess after that 20 minute break. I mean, in recess you could do anything. Like, you could play dodgeball, I mean, you could play chase, you could sit down and like draw and color or you could stay in and finish your homework or I don't know be antisocial when you're an elementary school student. I had a lot of fun. I mean sometimes it was boring but I mean come on I had a lot of fun. And then middle school happened. Don't get me wrong middle school was cool. I mean it was this weird awkward middle school stage that everybody has. So this middle school that I went to did not have its own after school program and it recommended me to go to a different after-school program that was like a block away called the YMCA and it was really cool at first they picked us up in buses that were air-conditioned they planned beach days and mall days and they had really cool better snacks instead of the crud they gave us in elementary school except you had to pay for it they allowed you to play games and like we could volunteer and help watch the little ones that were younger than us and then we could also work out in the workout room and it was really cool until I discovered the Renaissance club and video games. Okay, so this quick little thing about the Renaissance Club. My middle school had this club called the Renaissance Club, obviously, and it was for students who got like a 4.0 for their quarter grade. Those kids who had a 4.0 were allowed to skip school for a day altogether and go to the mall. And we'd spend the day there and basically we'd come back to school like five minutes before the last bell rang and be like, yo, what's up? We were at the mall. Sucks to be you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, that was really cool. And through this Renaissance Club, I started to make really good friends who actually encouraged me to do better in school. And through this, they introduced me to video games like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. And I got so hooked. Like, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to do homework, but I wanted to play video games. In my adolescent preteen mind, I was like, how am I going to solve this problem? So what happened was that I realized I can sort my priorities. And the wheels in my preteen brain started turning. And I was like, you know, there's a 30-minute homework break at the YMCA. If I do all my homework in that 30 minute break, I can spend the entire night at home playing video games. So 
that's what I did. Good job, Asia, for sorting out your priorities. Man, you are a smart kid back then. What happened? Because of this, I began to take a little bit longer on my homework. You know, spending more time making sure I actually got the 4.0 that I really wanted to go spend money at the mall and buy more video games so I can play more video games. And basically, I began to ask for more time after the 30 minute break. The leaders should have been really happy that I was just sitting doing my homework. I mean, I'm one less kid to watch, one less kid to cause trouble, one less kid to get hurt when playing dodgeball. They should have been happy with that, like saying, oh, look at this studious person finishing her homework so that she can go someplace better instead of being a bum on the beach, okay? They should have been happy with it, but no, they just continued to make fun of me and mock me for doing my homework. Like, don't get me wrong, when I was done, I'd go and play with them. But the leaders would be like, Oh, are you sure you want to play with this? Are you really done with your homework? Are you sure you want to socialize with this? Do you really want to play dodgeball or do you want to look like you're fitting in? So the moral of this story, guys, is to not be a studious worker, to not sort out your priorities so that you can play video games at home, to just not try and achieve your dreams and just, you know, think more about what people think of you and just play sports. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this story slash rant. I hope it brought you some cheer knowing that I suffered a lot in after school programs. I hope it made you chuckle. I hope it made it shed a little tear. I, I hope it made you feel something because honestly, it's bringing back all this hatred for the YMCA back. All right, guys, you know what to do. If I made you feel something during this video, like laugh or cry or pity or empathy or sympathy, please thumbs it up. That'd be really cool. That'd mean a lot to me, even though it actually means nothing in YouTube, except that a lot of people like it. And if you guys liked me and how I made you feel, please go check out my videos in my channel. There are like tons of them, and I'm already embarrassed by some of them about how badly they turned out because it was either me or my editing skills so please check me out and if you like my videos and want to see more and get like a little reminder that I'm uploading a video please hit the subscribe button that'd be totally awesome right yeah hopefully I'll see you with another installment not in like four weeks like I did last time but like in a week or in a few days depends on how busy I am again guys I still don't know my schedule yet because Beauty and the Beast finally ended <laughs> I miss it okay bye